Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I um, started this and didn't realise I should have um, turned the camera on so I could show what I was doing. Okay, so I had to put a little bit of space in there inside the door so you could write, okay? So this is going to actually be a door from a room. I've changed the, um, the book. Where's my book gone to? Right, <laughs> The one I was going to put this into is not quite right, so I'm going to use this one. I've already done the, um, the part on it, but the, what I had in the other one was not going to go with the doll themes because I, was, I think I'd rather do birds or something in that one. So this one here has got um, some really nice... Oh, well, hasn't got a lot of pages, but if I get too carried away, I'll make another signature because I haven't actually done the outside of this as yet. What's in here? Oh, there's birds, but they won't matter if they're in the doll book, will they? You know, because this is going to be sort of paper art doll thingies. It's not going to be exactly, you know, the, the one thing, because I can't... I can't do that. <laughs> I've got to get all over the place. So anyway, um, I've put this really lovely purpley colour ink around there because I can't find my other uh, pink one. And it should be there with all the other ones, but I might have put it something when I was using it out there. It might have been a drawer. Anyway, it doesn't matter because the purple one looked really good, actually. These little packets, I've had this for oh, nine years. Nine years, and I've got a little bird on the back of there that I usually stamp him on and put him on things, but he's just stuck there. He won't come off. But I bought those a really long time ago, and they've lasted really, really well. Mind you, I haven't been using them as much. Just got a bit of glue stuck to me hand, and I don't want to get it all over the book. So anyway, so say for example, I'm just going to use um, this cover. I was going to do these in the kits. I sold one, <laughs> and I just didn't get around to do it anymore. I fiddled. Anyway, so I've been doing the room. So let's just do this, and not worry about the other things. <laughs> um, nice day here in Australia. Actually, really nice. Um, Really nice and cosy weather sort of thing. Um, it's just right for, you know, you can leave the front door open. You can, you know, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. <laughs> when I say leave the front door open, usually I used to, when I use the back of, have the back of the house open. Because the front one goes out for the, where the traffic and that is. And not a lot of traffic, but still enough to make a noise. But I'd rather just have, I'm a bit of a recluse me, I'd like to just have the back of the house all open which opens all the house anyway, so <clears throat> never mind, that's enough raving on. Now, I've just wrote top there, so I remember this is the top of the book, and I, I'll, I'll actually use this to keep it covered with while I'm working in it, but I don't know if actually well, that will be the cover on, in, the, in the long run. We'll just see, because you know me, I can change my mind. Now, the doll that I put in this other one, because I have here, she's um, being a tuck thingy. I can just tear that out, can't I? You know what? Because I can, because the other side will come out as well by going under here um, and taking that out. So I can use her in this book that I'm doing. There you go, look at that. It's like not magic, but it's good. And that way I can use that one for thing, other things, because I've got some, I've got some beautiful, um, I had some uh, flower ones in there that I didn't want to take out, and I think there's really nice bird ones in here too, somewhere. Somewhere there was a bird, oh hang on the other side of this bit. And I have a, I have a zillion bird things and like there's that bit. Yeah, look at that. I didn't want to tear that out. Isn't that beautiful? A little hummingbird. So I'm just gonna use that next time, okay, for the next one I'm gonna do. Okay, so I was working on this bit here and I really I have a few other ideas to, today. Uh did try to see if I could draw again not good <laughs> that on the back burner um now this is this will I'll be finishing this off really quickly here now so we're not going to be taking up too much of your time twiddling around um and we're just going to put this across the top of there and maybe across the bottom don't know yet but and my glue decided to have a hissy fit where's another bottle let's let's use the new little one and we can use that when you're not looking and i can I won't swear, but I'll, I'll get probably um, a bit, thing, you know, I've just got it all over the place because I left it upside down with its lid on it. I'm trying to get this open now. I left it upside down with its lid on it because it all 
falls down at the bottom, then it just runs out, you know, like goo. I'll fill it sideways, it might work better. Now I'm just going to put this along here. I thought about doing curved corners on it, but I'm not going to because and that's all I need, just a tiny bit, don't I? I don't need to go way too far with this. Now I'm going to put that across the top. So we're going to pretend that this is going to be the door of a room. And behind it I hope to find something like a nice piece of paper or something I can put behind the or the whichever page I want to put it in on my door. Okay. Now this piece here will not fit across there, so let's put a different one across there. Now I might just go off and work on something else with this for a while because we've sort of uh, well we might so we've sort of captured the idea of this haven't we you know like what we want to do and we're going to try and do something else then okay so we just put this down here like so and that just fits there where that bit's coming on but it's not level it's not on anything it's just not level now there's a mark here that looks like a watermark but it's actually part of the um butterfly that's behind that, isn't it? I'm not even in the shot here. What's me, what am I thinking of? Okay, now I get that up there. Off there. Right. So this is the doorway and she's coming in the doorway to whatever other room and behind her I can have what can I put her in here? No, that's too fancy, isn't it, really? What about this one? That's too fancy. Let's go with the plane, <laughs> and I'll put something that I like behind it. I don't know, maybe I could just leave it like that. But I need to put something here yet, and that well, that element of the, of the thing is made, okay? So we've done that. <laughs> as far as I can see, maybe I might use a little bit of lace. I don't know yet. I have a nice pot of lace up here that I put aside. I want to come and get something out of. And there's a bit of calico, but I put that on top so that I didn't want to get any dust in my lace. But look, I've got a little bundle of lace. I put it in here so it looks visible. And you're thinking to yourself, now I've got lace somewhere, Sonia. But where is it? And I do know now, don't I? Where's it? What do I do with that little girl picture? Where did I put it? Um, we need to put a little bit of... <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> move that out of the road. I didn't want to um, take too much time on one thing, you know, like... Because I spent a long time yesterday on it. <clears throat> and I really wanted to see what I could do with it today. We can work on it another time, can't we? I'm sure you won't mind if I just get on to the next bit. That I want to do, okay? So <clears throat> we'll leave that for the time being. Now, <clears throat> to get that inside piece that I glued on here, all I did was take this bit of a template, remember that I used to make the door, the, the door and I cut it, cut out that size, and then I just tore around the edge just to so I could put it on there and give it a little bit of an outline, okay? Um, you can see that this is sort of looking raised up a bit. These what have I got here? A piece of a doll hat? A minute. It sort of looks a bit raised up a bit. Oh, that's why I didn't cut that right through. Great. And um, and that's because there's a few thicknesses. There's a, another thickness under that. So maybe I'm going to eliminate those the next time I try to do that sort of thing. Now this little girl here can come off there. We can take that, cut that piece off. She's not actually small. But we can just leave that behind it as a background. Uh, <clears throat> I'll take the corners off this. It's a bit thick now. The... Anyway, we're getting through it. We're all good. Okay, so that's a, another element that we're going to put in the book. So there's two bits there. And we'll start working on that shortly. But for now, I wanted to show you, I have collected up a few dollhouse bits. And when I say dollhouse, that's probably not, that's probably not really one, but this is, it's very big. It's really big. 
and I'm thinking, well, here's a smaller version of it. <clears throat> I'd like something half that maybe I could cut that up there like that, but then it'll go through the window. Maybe not, or through the bed. No, it won't. If you do it down there, Sonia, look at that. Maybe this will be right. Maybe I won't have to change. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, here I go again. This is, oh dear. I could be allergic to your room too. <laughs> that would be not good, would it? I just look at the camera to see if I actually had this switched on, which I do, so that's a good thing, I guess. Now I'm going to, I want to get to the top of the bed, which is on that bit there. Maybe straight would be a good idea too, Sonia. That would be an excellent idea if you straighten it. Does that look all right? Yes, of course it does. Okay, let's trim off these white bits that I left on there when I madly cut it out with scissors. This I got out of, what did I get this out of? Some kid's storybook. <laughs> Somebody left me a message to say that I was lucky that I had these things at fair at hand, but you know what? Only for the fact that every time I see something nice and I think, oh dear, I like that, that's the fact that I keep <laughs> I collect the, my collector of all sorts of things. And that's the only way you can, you can recycle all this stuff, you know, that you're using to make these books. You just, you know, collect up bits and pieces and that's what I, ha I have done. I've got some new bits, of course, but a lot of it's going to be things that I've collected up over the time. So here we go, now we've got a house. And this is actually going to be a tuck spot, I hope. The only thing is, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, she's a dark. <laughs> because you know me, I'm in I'm in these um I'm in this world here where there's all these pretty pretty colours, you know? And this seems to me to be extremely dark. I guess right. I don't know if I can paint the roof. Probably could stick a bit of Mod Podge on it. I don't want to fancy, I don't fancy wrecking that today. I really don't. So these are the items so far that I've got from your book. So we're going to not wreck this. Um, are we going to put it in? Well, I don't know. I was thinking that these I love. Absolutely love these. Can these be doll houses? Why not? I can't see why they can't be. They'd look really good as a tuck spot or something, don't you reckon? I've already got that lady in one of my other books, so I don't think I'll cut her out to put in this one again. This here I want for wings, okay? So let's make an art doll while we can't decide about this part. And pl plus I want to make one of those ones that you cut out on a string. Now, <laughs> um, that'll be interesting, won't it, Tonya? Let's have a look at <laughs> see how I go with that. Where's a piece of paper? Remember my drawing bit? business a minute ago, I couldn't work it's over here, as it, I started out and I put a face on it, and I thought, oh yeah that looked bad, I'm going to um, work out in my brain <laughs> how to make one of those dolls, you know a doll connected to a doll connected to a doll, and you need a neck on it, don't you, it's a, it's a fat neck, we'll bring it in a bit, and we need a shoulder, and we need a little arm, because that little arm goes to that little arm, doesn't it? Does the little leg go to the other little leg? Probably. This is just, a, this is, don't panic. It's all right. Nobody panics. It's just an idea. <laughs> Poor person. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, let's do it properly <laughs> this time. You know how I do things so I can get them right? I do half and then I fold it over. And that's how I do it. So let's just put a half a face. It's a big head, really. And if I do this, I'm going to be able to fold it and put it in thing, aren't I? And a bit of a neck. Come over here and do an arm down there, like so. Maybe only one side of my brain can draw, I don't know. And this one comes down here, like that. What do you reckon? Fold it in half. I have done this with flowers and leaves, you know, like, because I did a lot of um, embroidery. And when I was doing the embroidery, there wasn't a lot of patterns out there, you know, like, for doing stuff. Now, I'm only cutting out one, so nobody panic, because then I'll cut out all of them in a minute when I figure out how to do one. I'll figure out how to do one first. Um, yeah, so I used to always make sure that I had mine 
level by folding it in half and that way they were okay and they were level on both sides now I don't know how this is going to look but we're just going to give it a shot eh see what happens Because you download one off Pinterest or something, it's got a, f um, a square head. I don't care. I'm going to fix that. And his shoulders are really buff. So let's take a little bit off his shoulders. Maybe don't want him to be scrawny, but still. And the head's got to come around so it's shaped a bit more egg-ish, maybe. Maybe egg, I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not too bad, although the head shaped a bit like a heart we'll just keep working on that till we get it right eh what do you think he could probably be a little bit longer you know because he might be a little bit squatty well, maybe not I'm going to put him in a pocket so let's do one of these now then paper doll we need some paper that's a good idea for paper doll we need some paper and I do want something that's not really thick, but just, oops, well, no, no need panic, I need a thing there fell down, that's not the right thing to use, what have I got there? Oh, <laughs> you keep finding stuff, I need something that's, come on, just give me a sheet of paper for goodness sake. Over here, yeah, I think yes, that was pink, that's, um, I've got a truckload of it in this room. Get a piece of pink. Can we make some pink paper dolls? Okay. Right. So, to get a whole heap of them, there must be some particular way you have to fold this. Now, you're going to have to forgive me, you know, because I'm not, you know, <laughs> I don't remember very much about this. All I know is you're not allowed to cut off at the arm. Maybe the foot too, I don't know. What do you reckon? Hmm, Okay. I'm going to trace around this poor little bloke and try to do it as best I can. Got a bit of ink on that, that can't be good. Okay, so we're going to trace around here. I would like to make his little body a bit longer, but I'm not going to because, you know, you wouldn't want to me mess with it, really. Could could end badly. Could end badly if you start messing with things. Okay. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Oh, no, you can't. I'm tracing around my paper doll, okay? Just in case you still can't see me. I'm drawing everywhere. This pencil thing is way too thick. That's another thing. If you're doing a pattern, you should probably have a really sharp pencil because the thicker the line, you might draw that thick line and then the thing won't turn out the same size because you're going to follow the thick line. It brings your pencil away from your pattern. I know that. But I'll show you. Look. I can show you what the difference is. See where I was using this fat, thicker pen? You can't. It's further away from where I started using the, the, the sharper one. It is further away from the thingy. Okay, right, so there's my paper doll. It's definitely an original piece of work. Now, I'm going to have to fold it like this. And... Is this right? <laughs> uh, somebody help. <laughs> help. Do you do it like that? And then go back the other way. Because you want your arms to join together. So you're going to have arms like an orangutan, isn't it? Because if you cut all that out, its arms are supposed to be where the creases are. Is that right? Okay, let's keep going and see what happens. This is, this is going to be either a disaster or not. It's probably going to be a disaster. I don't know. There we are. Now, <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure, you make sure you don't cut the, this part, okay? So I'll make it a little bit thinner because he's too fat around there. I'm gonna, I've decided he's too fat around that bit. And come up that way. I'm starting to get really hot in here and I've got no fan. It's all the excitement, I tell you. He's made him a flat head. Poor man. Poor little doll. Okay. Now we're going around here like this. Definitely needed to put a hat or something on him, didn't I? And we're going around here like this. 
and we're not going to go all the way to this part here we're going to come back that way uh, are we what, what are we doing <laughs> okay leave that leave that this, hand, this arm's going to be longer than the other one is that gonna, this going to work <laughs> ah dear uh, well uh, this is good fun and you watch me <laughs> probably making me nervous but <laughs> Phew. now he's only got to be joined on by his little hands and I should have made his legs longer I suppose don't make me nervous now come on <laughs> ah dear pin around pin around there Sonia What's going to happen now? Oops! <laughs> I got two together. I must have went too far down that arm because I got those two together and those two together. Now I know how to do it. Well, properly. I want to do it properly. If you can stand to watch that again. <laughs> he looks a bit weird, doesn't he? Definitely needs a longer body. Definitely needs a longer body. Actually, I'm going to fix the, the template. I'm going to get the template and I'm going... I'll keep them bits over there. I don't, I don't want to have to. I don't have to keep them bits over there, do I? Um, I'm going to get a piece of this here. And I'm going to make his body a bit longer so he doesn't look really, you know, pretty deformed here. Just needs a bit, doesn't he? Just needs a bit more body. That's better. Righto. <clears throat> Put some glue on that. <clears throat> People don't even think I can make things look hard, can't I, though? <laughs> I don't know. Look, there's people out there that can't even do these things. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a bad thing. They just probably haven't learnt. Because once you learn, it's really easy, you know. And so then I'm giving people inspiration. I can't do it. Well, I can. I suppose I can. But you know what? I probably never, ever did it before in my life. To be honest, I don't even remember when I was a kid making these. Don't even remember that. He's sort of got a weird tummy, hasn't he? But we'll fix that. We'll make him shape properly. Okay. <clears throat> right. Anybody's ever made one of these, you need to leave me a comment on it and tell me <laughs> not how bad I was, but um, something like how easy it is and I made it look hard, no. <laughs> um, just leave a comment anyways. Tell me what you think. It's fun. I know you all said this was fun, this paper thing. And it is, see. You don't have to do anything really that technical to have a bit of fun. Now his little arms look too short too, don't they? Deary me, Sonia. You'll have to extend this bloke a bit this way. Yeah, your arms come down to about where your side of your bottom is, maybe. You know, if you don't want to be an orangutan looking. So he needs to have his arms to there. Okay. So I'm going to put more arms, longer arms. Get some hands on. How about that? And when this time when I do it, I have to make sure. You know what? They need to go that way. If they, if they go that way, then they'll join better, won't they? Aha! Uh -huh. i got the idea now, have I, though? I'll pull his arms off. Oh, dear, don't do this, please. <laughs> I know what I've done wrong. Don't I? Okay. He needs his arms straight out. Because then the fold will definitely not get cut. If his arms are out here... What am I doing? I can't fit it on there. Try this one. No. You'll have to go on there. So his arms are going to come right out there. Look. I will. That way. Okay. Now do his body again and go around and then we'll fold it in half again and try to give him a bit better head. <coughs> Oh, I'm telling him a terrible time with this head thing. Okay, now. That should 
him that was a bit silly. Shouldn't have cut him out or bent him up, turned him over. I'm using a piece of drawing paper here and it's very, um, I don't know, the particles probably coming apart a bit on me. I would stress in the paper something frightful I am. Probably in the in new people do. <laughs> okay, Dolly's arms straight out, Sonia. Dolly's legs can go down this way though. If you want them to join, they need to go down through there, don't they? They're right. God bless you, anybody who's still watching this. <laughs> Good on you. <yous. laughs> okay. Now. Yeah. That right? They, they even? Yes, they are. Now look, he's got a pointy head. <laughs> okay. Righto. Now. can do some really, really technical things, maybe like, <laughs> this is not hard at all, and I can't do it. <laughs> I can do some really neat things with a needle and cotton. Paper has got me. Paper has got me. I just... I could probably make them out of fabric. <laughs> now look, that's different, isn't it? I mean, he's got toes. He's got toes. Because I want it to join there, I think. Let's have a go at this now. So we need to have that right on the edge of there. But the foot doesn't come right to the edge, does it? Oh, we'll now move it a bit. Okay, and then we go down here and here, up around here. Probably should have Googled this, you know. You can find out anything to do with it on Google, I'm sure you can. Maybe paper, making a paper doll isn't as hard as all I'm making it out to be, you know. But anyway, um, you can make some rather fancy ones, I'd imagine. I haven't Googled it. I want one of those Google mini things where you can say to it, Google, tell me how to make a paper doll. <laughs> and they, it does, somehow. Because everything that's on the internet, I think it's in this, connected to this thing where you can talk to it and it answers you. I really want one. Me and Jeremy think it would be really cool. Now that's not that's not far enough over because I don't want to cut the cut the crease off. Well, look how stupid that is, Sonia. You've got it all bent skew with. I don't know. As long as I get the arm in the right place to start with, is this going to work now? That's going to cut that there. Cut. Maybe I need to do another another fold because that's only going to give me one, two, three, oh, give me four dolls. Supposedly it will. Anyway, here we go again. Who, who, who's going to watch this right through to the end? <laughs> ah dear. I will put up my giveaway prizes very shortly still getting bits together you know you've got to do other things in the day mind you I'm not doing that much but still <laughs> and I need to get on with that because when I was doing the room I couldn't get in here to okay so I cut that but that's okay isn't it doesn't matter if the foot doesn't if the legs don't go together the hands will well we hope they will. I might be able to do something with his legs then. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what I was saying. Oh yes, and you know, by the end of the week, I'm hoping that I will have a have a winner up there to send things to, and then I've got to get ready for the next month. So <clears throat> we'll have to find something interesting for you to tell me to go on the next competition, won't we? I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes, you know, doing this is just absolutely great. I love doing this because I, I feel like I'm there with everybody, you know, we're having a bit of a craft. It's not going to fall apart. 
and I really enjoy it, you know. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, so don't do it the way I did it the first time. Do it the way I did it the second time. Now, I do really like that. Um, the little leg things, I might have to do something about his little feet, the little pointy toes, you know, just to make it a bit, so it's not all touching on there. And I, I'm going to keep it like this, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I'll cut him on a little square, like that. I'm not going to change this, I'm going to keep this and I'm going to put it in my book. Because I think it's absolutely cool. Now, if you wanted to, I suppose you could use nice coloured paper, or you could just put colours on this. But if I'm starting to muck around with it, I'm probably going to wreck it, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to find an eraser, I hope, so I can... That first pen I had, it was it had one on it. And I do have some in a little box, and I thought, I'll put these in this little box, and they'll be safe in there, and I'll be able to find them. Well, bless me soul, have a guess what? We don't know where they are now, do we? Okay, righto. Okay, now stick with me, because I just want to do a couple more things, if you want to. Um, that was probably probably tiring and what have you. I'll, I'll do that later. I'll take all the, paint, all the black off it, of, um, you know, the drawing. It should be only on one of them anyway, shouldn't it? It should be only on one. It's only the top one that you did. Yeah, it will be. Okay, now you can put some clothes on. You could colour in some pants on them. Or something, make faces, I don't like making faces, I can't make faces, they, they stress me out. And then, when I do this, I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to make it, maybe I'm going to leave it like it is so we can open it and write, write in it. What do you reckon? That'd be fun. You could have all your kids' names or something. <laughs> maybe if you only got four, maybe if you got one or two. That'd be cool. I'm going to use that. That's, I like it. I am. I've convinced myself of that one. Now, I have another doll here that I wanted to make a dress for, a skirt or something. And I've seen somebody do this. I don't remember. It could have been Shannon Green. She does a lot of paper doll thingies. It could have been her. But I don't think she used what I'm going to use. Maybe she did. I couldn't actually see what it was that she had. Um, and I'll show you when I find the doll. Let me see where it is. It's that one with the... I didn't pick them up and put them back in here. Yesterday. Come on. I, might use, I don't know if I might use that thing, because that's got a really interesting doll on there, isn't it? It's a um, piece out of a magazine. Look, it's an old postcard. Uh, what is that doll thing I'm after? I do know what I'm looking for. I just don't know what I did with it. Remember, I made her, she had a big, a big body to her. And that's really cool. I've had that for ages. Somebody sent me that way a long time ago. When I first started on here. Oh, really? Oh, it's in here. Trust me to be looking in the wrong spot. At least I think it is. Hang on. No, not, not too much stuff okay so you don't have to collect all this much stuff because you know what you get too much to make decisions on and it just doesn't work for you I'll put my lace back up there <clears throat> uh -huh. here, I, here she is this one here I thought about what I was going to do with her put this back in here right. you don't have to have all this okay it's not um, an, an issue, <laughs> you just don't want it all, it's too much, it can be too much, you know, it can be overpowering sometimes, look at that, there's good boots on that one, oh dear, now, you know what I'm going to do with these, <clears throat> I'll show you later, <laughs> okay, right, somebody told me once that I would make a really good teacher, only I, I'm too nervous, I think I got over that, I don't know, <laughs> Never mind. I don't think I'm nervous at all. I'm just... Now look at that. I've got some legs there. Oh, well. And a pain. Look, this is a dress. Oh, I accidentally made this one, okay. I did. Oh, wow, look at that. Hang on a minute. I'll, I'm going to fix this one up here in a, in a minute, okay. But I just want to put the light shade on the dress. 
and then I've cut these out with my scan and cut ages ago and then I just did the black drawing on there but I'm going to stick this light shade onto these funny legs here feet or whatever do I need that? wait a minute, move it over a screen there because I don't really want that bit there sticking out at the bottom I might cut this piece off here I'm really excited too about doing my um, glue book to that. I've nearly made a doll. <laughs> the only thing is, though, it's going to be too big for the book. I might have to put these in something else that I'm doing. I'll get onto something else and I'll put it in. I don't know. Now, not real keen on the top two bits, but the bottom pieces fell together by themselves somehow, didn't they? So we're going to use that later. Um, this one here I wanted to show you what I was going to do okay, real easy this, I'm going to make her a dress I actually did have one on there but I took it off because I didn't feel like I'd put it on there properly okay, so this one here I've got off the internet off Pinterest, Pinterest or images if you type in either, either one you can get um, good bits now I've got a piece of um, you know paper what is it called now <laughs> it's oh dear you know, I haven't seen in a moment it's called crepe paper crepe paper okay and we need to make her a skirt okay. well I might do a bit of a fold it that way and then fold it this way. Alright, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I've got about oh, over a foot, two foot, two and a half foot of um, crepe paper and I guess it's a bit over two, an inch and a half wide and then I'm folding it up until I get to, but see this is going to depend on what size doll you want to put this on, you know, so um, she's about right. I was going to, I'll probably draw, I don't know if I'll draw this on here or not, see how I go. Do you think I can do it? I'm just going to cut it out because I feel more comfortable if I just eyeball <laughs> It's really, really weird, I know. Anyway, so I'm just going to make a... I've got all these pieces together. I was making the paper doll. just brought back the idea that I needed to do fix this up again because I hadn't had it fixed. And I'm making a sort of a, well, maybe a petal-shaped uh, thing. You know, we won't be too... Um, What's the name about it? We're just going to have a petal shaped thingy. I don't know. I'll cut these in half here and go right up the top. Now I'm going to put these on her. And I might use my glue glue because that way I can put my arm behind her back because I don't want to get stuck to her. So this is where I previously had some stuck down and I didn't like how they worked. So I'm going to do it a bit more carefully, which I. You know, I've got to make sure that it's right this time. That one's flat, not it. Okay, so we can start in the middle, I suppose. Too long, way too long, isn't it? Don't you reckon? Oh, goodness me. Down there near. Yes. That's too long, Sonia. You're going to have to cut that back a bit. Righto. Hurry up before the glue dries. Don't panic, don't panic. For goodness sake. <laughs> it's too big. Oh dear, I wasn't thinking when I was doing it. I need it to, to come down to the... Um, I need this bit, this bit chopped off up here somewhere. That's better. That's better. Anyway, I can always get a bit more paper, can't I? There's plenty there. Right. Now, you want to glue these on. That's better. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay. Now, you can do this with, you know, any of the dolly, dolly things that you're making. It doesn't have to be this sort of one. I just wanted to make her something... Nice. I'm not worried about how far I'm going up there because I want to. Um, I'm going to actually put some sort of a top on her. Let me get to that. Put a bit more glue on the top of this so I can put these on. 
how far do we need it to go out like there do you think I'm doing this upside down you think about me that way <laughs> I'm doing it upside down I need to turn it around I need to see what she's how she's looking that's not bad that's not bad no, it's all good I'll keep going with that <clears throat> this one and I'm just going to do a few you know so it'll look a bit more poofier you know fluffy out thingy sort of and another row and you don't want to stick it all down because you want it to be like that actually under here I will do the first layers whoops and then I'll just put these ones on the top and won't worry about sticking them down all, all the way around them okay because I'm running out of little fluffy bits got one left here like so no, no there must have been two there they didn't stick yeah, let me see well that's not bad she does <laughs> look a bit, a bit funny but <laughs> You know, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's not too bad. I need to do her um, legs a bit better. Um, I showed you, I told you the other day about making sure this was cut out really, really good. The background that you put it on will make a difference, I suppose. If this is going to fit in your book, I'm going to be very surprised. Look, she is. Look at that. Can't believe it. It's going to fit. Oh dear, look at that. It's going to go. Isn't she awesome? I think so. Need a nice top for her now. Don't know what that's going to be yet. I'm going to have to find the right thing for her. Um, I don't remember what time I started this now. I think it might have been about 11 o'clock. I don't know. So we could put something, maybe something lacy on the front or something here. What do you think? It's got to cover up that top bit too. Um, and... Mm, yes, interesting. Then I've got this piece. This is a piece off somebody's top or something. You know me, because I like to salvage things. You reckon that's too... Let's cut this out and see what it does. Mm. Let me cut it out. See, it's, it's a piece that's all been sewn because it was on the... I'm probably not even showing you this. It was on the... Um, a dress or something, skirt that I demolished. Now instead of using that, I should be using me picking thing undone and picking undid thing. I've actually got some stuff. One pair of scissors, one pencil, one of each thing that I need. Not each thing, but thing. One cotton, some pins in case I need something in the lounge room. In case I feel like I want to do a bit, but mostly what I used to do out there was cut stuff up. <laughs> I think that's going to be an issue now. Don't think we're going to worry about cutting stuff up out there. I just had a good time this morning cutting out more things. It's enough. Okay, so now um, I don't know if this is too whether this is going to be too gaudy looking or what for her. Oh dear. Let me see. Where's the little arms? They're there, right? So we got we got to go. Across there, no, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that at all. Maybe if it's shorter, maybe. Okay, it's too, it's too thick, it's too heavy. Way too heavy. Yep, it's not a good idea. Maybe this one I can just make it in bits. Put it on here. What the heck that is, some stuff back to it. Um... No, it's not working either for me. I'm going to have to find something else. Maybe the paper idea would be better because that way it might work as far as, I don't know, being more, more, um... No, I don't like that. Oh, well, I can have it this way, I suppose, but... find something to put on top of her and for a top I've showed you how to do a bottom okay so what are we going to do with now um, the house was an issue too wasn't it I wanted to do a, a different dollhouse uh, this is made in bits but see that's that's how I work I'm, I'm um, just doing a bit here and a bit there you know that's the way it's 
things are when you I want, I want some wings on this I want some wings on this person's body here look at this I do love that I need a body righto let's find a body let's find a body I've got that bit of a doll thingy there but I don't think that's the right thing to use today uh, get this book out of here that'll make it a lot easier <coughs> um, a body bit a body bit of Okay, um, so I've got wings, I've got that bit, I just need to top the bodice part of it. And I can use anything really, can't I, as long as I can find this, this anything. There's another little skirt there. If I can find the anything, I can use it. Sorry about this, I won't be long. <laughs> like she's it, doesn't it? Maybe this one here. It's the same person, I think. It's just different. Maybe these ones. We definitely do not want to see the black part. How about the pink one then? How about the pink thing? Do some cutting. I think I might keep the arms because that's a hard bit to find on it in the dolls these days. The arm bits, you know, like they're in a straight, so you can use them. Let's cut that up there. I'll fix it later. I'll cover it with something. I'm sure, I will. Because this has got to go up to her. <laughs> that's a bit much <laughs> legs I think I might have to move the legs over what do you reckon yeah. I think it was a doll sitting on something you know like it's a, actually a fabric doll was sitting on something that I I have to move her over a bit come on pick yourself up and shift your legs a bit over ok it doesn't matter if that matter if that bit comes that's a bit better isn't it what do you reckon that's a bit better. Don't know about them arms. Might have to find something else for them. Might have to use a different arm. I just want the bodice part here. So I can use it for... Put something over top of. Just need it for a base. It's more skinny, but I just need it for a base for her. <clears throat> okay. Because I want wings behind that, don't I? Come here, you wings. Yes, I'm going to have to cut the feelers off. I left them there and didn't cut them out because I didn't want to um, ruin it. And these are really pointy, these end bits, but I can do my best. I can just wiggle them along here and I cut it out, eh? I hope I'm in this camera shot here. I'm wandering across the other side of the room. Sorry about that. So I'll get some wings on her. An amazing hat. I need some more different hair too, I think. I'm just using that. I suppose I could just cut one out of bodice part. You don't have to chop up the poor woman, but you know, it's, it's just what you got, and it's all trial and error. Yeah. <laughs> I hope people can hear me. I listened to my video yesterday and I thought, well, son, you waffling on there. I don't think some of the time you just get hear what I was saying. Sorry about that. Because I don't, um, I forget. <laughs> I'm talking to people. I'm not going to worry about that body bed because I'm going to find something that will go on there. Look at them wings, aren't they cool? Let me see. What have I got here? There's more pieces of body here than what we need. Oh wow, well. what do you mean about that? For a head. She'll have to have some sort of body. I suppose the butterfly parts can be the body. Hey, what do you think? And then a head with a neck. Okay, let's see if we, <laughs> we can make it not so silly looking. Well see the idea of this is was paper dolls, but I just want to do art ones as well. It's it's how it's the way things work. These are good bodices bits, aren't they? These are good body bits. 
something I printed off way back in the day because it's I can tell by the colours that it was something that I made for some shabby chic I suppose I go. so we're going to put this behind here because there's a waist okay and this up there because it's a body and then so that's that's the shape I want this is the shape I want I just have to make it the color I want and the head it's got to be the right head this one looks um, you know <laughs> doesn't it hang on. hang on a minute if I cut a hair off Sounds, sounds mean, doesn't it? Sounds mean, 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 but I cut a hair off like this. Okay. No, I don't like that. I don't even want that bit, do I? Where's the, where's the wings? <clears throat> I'll give her more hair, don't worry about that. I will. I made her a peaky type head. So I'm going to put that on behind her neck. Be best idea, wouldn't it? Like so. And then, dress bit. How about a bit of a dress? Come here. Too many hands and scissors and things in the road. So that's going to go on there like so. And then that's going to go there like that. I just need to change that bit there, I think. Although being light, it's sort of lighting up the thing itself, isn't it? Um, what can I put on there? I don't know, but I've got a little person here too that I want to put in it as well. Um, not in this bit, but in my book. Let me see. I need a, a top. I've cut out everything I own trying to get a top. Oh, come on. These shoes. Oh, these are good. Oh! <laughs> I'll be here forever if I keep finding all these good things. Oh, this is a good head. Look at that. Oh, my goodness me. This is fun. Wow. I hope I don't go way over and I think I'm going to be out, out of time. So I'm going to have to go and come back in a minute.